Auto track, turn automation, overview, and operation. Hello, my name is Jess. I'm a precision farming specialist with Midwest Machinery, currently serving the St. Cloud, Sock Center, and Painesville locations. I previously served the Glencoe, Howard Lake, and Stewart locations. I've been with Midwest Machinery since 2012. For this video, we have already driven a good exterior boundary for this field. We have also put the equipment offsets in the machine and implement. First, we need to generate a headland boundary based off the exterior boundary. Next, we will set up the triggers for entering and exiting the headland. In this video, we have set up SCV1 to raise and lower the implement. Then we'll set up our max turn speed and our max infield speed. Finally, we'll turn auto track turn automation on and we have a diagnostic scroll to make sure that everything is set up correctly. To activate auto track turn automation, we just need to start driving and press the auto track resume button on the armrest. We can adjust the triggers and the reaction distance on the fly. The reaction distance can be adjusted to start the triggers sooner or later as we cross the headland boundary. We can also adjust whether we're going to turn left or right and how many skip passes we need to do. In this operation, we are doing a skip pass. We can also see our status icon to ensure that the machine is going to slow down and turn on the headland. In this video, you can see that we need to adjust our turn direction and our skip passes as we're filling in a pass for this portion of the field we're working in. The system does give a warning message if it's not going to be able to make the turn within the boundary. You'll still make the turn even if it's going to be outside of the boundary, but it will alert you so you know if you have to manually steer. You can see the icon on the right hand side that's yellow and turns to red and then a full page warning message pops up it's indicating that it's going to be outside of the exterior boundary. Requirements for auto track turn automation. ATTA must be activated with automation 4.0 activation or subscription. Auto track turn automation must be set up with triggers for entering and exiting the headland and the max turn speeds must be set. The iTech master must be on and set up. The iTech master will be set up when the triggers are set up. A straight track guidance line must be selected. A field boundary must be completed. It's recommended that the exterior boundary is driven. A headland boundary must be generated. Options for headland boundaries are constant offset all the way around the field or a top and bottom offset, which is an offset on two ends of the field. 
for this video, we set up a constant offset of 60 feet because our implement was 22 feet. So we allowed for some overlap on our three headland passes at the end of the field. The machine and implement profile must be set up and accurate measurements must be entered and an operation must be set up for documentation. Our operation was tillage. Compatibility for auto track turn automation, a 4600 or a 4640 display. Automation 4.0 activation or subscription, a Starfire 3000 or 6000 receiver. Tractor compatibility, 8030 series and 9030 series wheeled machines, 8030 Track machines and 9,030 track machines are not supported. 6R through 9R wheeled machines are supported. 8RT and 9RT machines are supported. And the 9RX is supported. Tow between carts are not compatible. There's some transmission limitations. So make sure you're talking with your sales staff on tractor compatibility. This product is only available in tractors. Sprayers and floaters are not compatible as of this time. Thank you.